Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be checking out a mod called Emil's Voron. Now, this thing is basically, right now, it looks fairly standard, it looks fairly stock, but, but, you'll notice right off the bat that all-wheel drive and diff lock are always on, and when I go to turn the wheel, yeah, everything turns. Literally every axle is a steer axle on this thing, which is absolutely nuts. Now, I also have a trailer over there that I'll give you a slight glimpse of it, and that's all you're going to see for now, but you'll have to wait until the end of the video. Well, not the end of the video, but a little bit later on to see what that is. So stay tuned. Now, with all that being said, let's take this thing into the garage and see what we can do to it, because if the mod.io page is to be believed, then uh, you should be able to do some pretty insane stuff to this truck. Now, let's go ahead and see. Well, all the engine options are $1, so that's nice. Let's see. Emil's truck engine. Well, first of all, you have the three different Azov engines, but you also have stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 of Emil's truck engine. Now, I don't know what stage 7 will turn this truck into. I don't know if we're talking about, like, Voron Extreme levels of performance, but we'll find out. Now, gearbox, you have balanced, high range, off-road, and Emil's truck gearbox, which is 16 auto gears, 3 low gears, and 1 high gear. So we're going to go with that. And then stock suspension, we have raised... Raised, 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 and Emil's Special Flex Suspension. Now, we'll mess around with Emil's Special Flex Suspension later, but right now we're going to go with stage, I believe, what would be like the stage three, sort of. It looks like a, it looks like a hauling-focused lift. So now, obviously, we have a gigantic amount of tire options, and some of them actually come with wider axles as well, which is a really interesting concept, but the thing is, actually, if you look, it's just, <laughs> just edited offset. It's not actually a wider axle. <laughs> That's funny. So let's see what we can throw on this thing. These are 55s, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, what about, and those are just, like, regular tires. Let's see if we get... Bro, you could throw, like, CK1500 wheels under this thing. That is, uh, that's a little over the top and a little weird and a little out of place, but I'm not gonna worry about it because this is a mod, and why would you worry about it? Well, eh, let's see if, oh my god, those are 55s. Those are 55s. That's a little sketch. Let's see. Now, these are mud tires. We've gotten to the mud tire category because... There's something specific that I'm sort of looking for. Aha! Emil's Ultimate Con Wheels 1, Emil's Ultimate Con Wheels 2. Those are, those are actually, God, you want to talk about some stance offset? Jesus. Now, we've got a few more, oh geez. All of these alter the truck's ride height in very interesting ways, and I'm having a bunch of fun literally just scrolling through them. Are there any more special, like, Emil edition wheels. I'm not gonna throw the chained ones on it right now, but I think I may do let's see. Emil's ultimate con wheels two. Let's see, because oh my god, on road, off road, mud, and ice are all excellent. I like the sound of that. Excellent. All round. Perfect. Sometimes. Now, let's see what this thing is actually capable of with a uh, Emil's Ultimate Winch. I'll go with that. Emil's Ultimate Spare Wheel. It's it's literally like a joke at this point. Is it going to be Emil's Ultimate Diff Lock? I'm good on that. Oh, God. Let's see. Uh, AVTO 23 Heavy Crane, PC320 Heavy Crane, Flatbed, Van Body, Maintenance Frame, Sideboard Bed, Fuel Tank, L or IM50, LM50 loading crane, saddle high, saddle low. I believe saddle low is what we're going to need. And then snorkel-wise, that is the snorkel, sir. Uh, the, it, why are you... It. Oh my god, it changes it every single time. Hang on. Let's do... Uh, we might as well do the wedge cap. Yeah, we'll do that. And I believe that's about it for the customization in terms of performance. Now, though, let's see. Heat shielded, heat shielded muzzle, muzzle, Emil's special exhaust pipe. 
with more smoke. Yes, because that is absolutely the most important thing to put on this thing. Now, uh, twin horns, eh, I'm okay with that, but we'll do chrome cap with beacons. Rooftop, double raised beacons, I like that. I like, eh, I like the, well... I think we're good. Well, no, actually, you know what? Double raised beacons. Yeah, there we go. And front bumper, pipe welded, hinged, heavy duty pipe, and stock. I'm going to do pipe welded, actually. I kind of dig the look. And yar wheels, that's about all we can do. Now, color wise, yeah, actually, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make y'all go through the, like, go through another pink truck. I mean, I know it's basically like, Basically a joke that goes along with like my streams and what I do on my streams, but I think we're gonna make this one red So now let's leave the garage With a very different uh, ver Oh my god Keep in mind this has like the top engine. Oh my god. That's a lot of smoke Now this trailer is what I was wanting to show you guys because it is a off-road step deck There'll be a link in the description box below for where you guys can actually get the off-road step deck and the truck. So, don't worry, because those are those are going to be available ah, in the description box below. It will not let me attach the... Oh. There we go. I guessed right on the hitch size, which I'm really glad about. Or hitch height, rather. The maneuverability is a little wacky. I mean, it takes a little bit to get used to, but it's not a bad thing. It's just one of those things you have to give yourself a little bit of time. So let's see, consumables, special cargo, mm, drilling equipment. Let's say, let's say we do, ooh, large pipes, drilling spare parts, oversized cargo. Let's do oversized, oh my God. It lets us hang some of the cargo off the back. It's a little weird, bro. Not gonna lie, but I mean, if it if it works, it works, I guess. Now, I'll go ahead and clarify to y'all right now. I cannot see myself using this in any sort of, like, campaign scenario. It just seems like it's a little too crazy, a little too wacky, and a little too over the top. But in a scenario like this... Boy, you bet, like, in a, in a mod testing scenario, I'm gonna use the crap out of it. Let's go, let's see if it'll run high through the- Nope! It'll run low plus, though. It damages itself a bit, but, ah, we won't worry about it. Not gonna lie, probably the craziest semi-truck I've ever driven in SnowRunner. I mean, like... How can you argue with that? that uh, <laughs> how could you... How could you look at that and be like, Nah, it's not enough. I need more. I need something more. Or like, nah, it's just not good enough for me. I... I don't know how you could, but I suppose there are people out there that will, but I don't... I don't know. I don't see it. And I do feel like in, uh, in real life, yeah, that, um... Yeah, that container would have long since fallen off. Oh, dear. Ah! Oof. Been a bit of damage. Bit of damage there, mate. What do you say we uh, repair and refuel there, mate? I, I say that's a good idea, bud. Now, let me take it across this section, and then I'm going to go back and go through the rocks. And then I'm going to see if it'll tow it through the mud. So we're going to run it through almost every test we have access to here. Because, I mean, look at this. This is ultimate maneuverability. This is what peak performance looks like, people. You are literally looking at the way of the future. I think. Maybe. Oh, God. Whoa. I'm surprised it's still attached. Not gonna lie, I am real surprised that that whole conglomeration that we call a a trailer that's hanging off the back, I'm surprised that's still attached. All right, into the mud with ya! It will be its most grueling test yet! 
and wow, it is, uh, it is passing it with flying colors, actually. There's really nothing bad here to speak of. What the heck? This is... I'm not gonna lie right now, this is stupidly overpowered. I feel basically like an the in-game equivalent of Zeus at the moment. Yeah, we're gonna head for the deeper mud pits now, because clearly those didn't phase it. It didn't care. Oh, it slowed down a little bit, but then it sped right back up again. It was like, yeah, I'm just not concerned, you know? I mean, I'll probably drive through the mud and then I'll, uh, and then I'll go get, like, a sandwich or something afterwards, because, like, my job's just too easy at this point. I mean, really, all I got to do is drive through the mud, and then once I drive through the mud, I'll just drive up the rocks, and then when I drive up the rocks, I'll just drive through some lava or something and make a delivery to an erupting volcano. You know, the daily grind. <laughs> Thing is so off-the-wall overpowered. I mean, look, we're dragging a shipping container. Uh-oh. Woo! Have we done it in? Oh, the sheer length of the trailer may have done us in. No, it did not. No, it did not. It did not just pull us out of that. That it... I give up? Question mark? Like, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? This thing is stupid. This thing is stupid in like, in the best way possible, but still tremendously freaking stupid. Throw it in high, oh, throw it in auto. Let's see what happens if I throw it in auto and pin it up the hill. Fifth, fourth, fourth, come on. I'm trying to force you into a higher gear, bud. Come on, come on, whoop. <laughs> I didn't like that very much. Oh, I think we've, I think we've really actually done it in now. What? No, you did not. You did not just do what I just, <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you did not just do what I just saw you do. Holy crap. This is officially the dumbest truck in the best way possible. Now we have one more test that we cannot finish this video without performing. Now this test involves hurling this truck and trailer combo into oblivion. Now, as far as, whoa, as far as what oblivion means, oblivion, at least to me, is more than just a entry into the Elder Scrolls series. No, no, Oblivion is what we're about to fling this truck into. Meaning, basically throwing it off the end of that road. Because there's a ramp there, which leads to death and doom. Now, when I say... You know what? Let me rephrase that. Because I don't know if it's actually going to lead to doom for this truck. Stop! God, you want to talk about Jackknife Arena? Oh my god. Holy smoke. Ah! Stop it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Just send it. Just set. Oh. Well. Sending it didn't really work, but that's all. Oh, 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 God. Sending it didn't really work, but that's all right, because we still have a truck attached to a trailer, and we're still going to send it off uh, the jump anyway. Go. 11th gear. Oh, my God. This is so fast. Oh, oh my God. Well, it's now the leaning tower of flatbed. And I think that's probably what it's going to stay as. Because, oh my god, that is the, that, 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 that winch distance, though. And we're all good. Don't worry about it. Now, I do want to try out the extreme flex suspension. I don't know what it actually does for us, but I'm assuming it gives us extreme flex. Actually, I am going to attempt to hit the trailer. 
This is, uh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be real bad. And I don't know, like, I've never tried this before, but this is also the first time there's been a trailer standing up at the end of the jump, and I feel like I would be doing both myself and y'all a disservice by not attempting to jump it! Oh! Why, hello there, Mr. Container. Lovely weather we're having. Repair, please. Oh my god, get yourself out of low- You blithering idiot! Alright, come on. And here... We... Oh, no! No! We glitched! The problem with the four-wheel steer, or I should say six-wheel steer, is that it can get a little bit unruly at high speeds when you try to do, like, minor corrections. Because you'll be like, oh, I just need, like, a little bit of a, a little bit of a hint of left. It'll dart left and send you into a wall. Come on. There's 11th gear. Come on. Go right! Oh! <laughs> oh. We landed it! Oh, we landed it! Oh my god. Alright, back to the garage for us because that is the high note that I want to end the trailer-related saga on because, yeah. That, that, while a bit excessive, is uh, exactly the kind of result I was looking for. I just... Oh! Literally right outside of the freaking garage. I am... I am a little bit annoyed by that. Yep. Yep. Where is... There's Emil's Voron grad. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Now let's make this one a... Air quotes here. Rock crawler. Uh, I don't know how much of a rat crawler it's going to be, but I'll tell you what. We're gonna make it, uh, insane. And we're gonna give it the special flexi boy suspension. And now we're gonna give it 55s. Because everybody needs some 55 inch tires in their life, right? Alright, where are, those are 50s. 55 TRO1s. What a boot. Now, Emil's Ultimate Con Wheels. We'll do Emil's Ultimate Con Wheels 1 this time. And we'll do Emil's Ultimate Winch. And, oh, that, that makes me realize I didn't have to make another one. Ah, that's fine. I'm not going to worry about it now. We already made it. So, flatbed just for the sake of doing this. And out of the garage... Whoa! That, like, stands up on its end. Good lord, that lean. That lean! Like, seriously, though, that freaking lean is stupid. Yep. No, it actually flexes. Like, legit, it actually legit flexes. I'm kind of surprised, but you know what? That's the first time I've seen, like, a super flexible suspension actually work in SnowRunner. And he did a really good job with it. But I'll tell you what. Oh, my God, is it tippy. I want to take it to the rocks. But I'll tell you, though, we have a... Oh, my God. This is going to hurt it. Oh! Yeah, we probably just drowned the engine right there. But we have a, you know, in, a basically an autonomous winch so we really don't have to worry about all that much and let's see what happens when we point it at the hill kick it into high and just let it eat low plus will probably be better huh yeah low pro low plus is probably the way to go here things good it's really good I mean, not even for just, like, a mod, but, like, it's good in general. Dude. It took the rock bouncer multiple attempts to climb that. This thing did it in, like, a attempt. Just gonna give it a little bit of, uh... 
little bit of a tug with the winch. Just a bit. Just enough. Just enough. Oh. She's coming over. Let's go. I'm going to roll it off the edge. I'm going to roll it off the edge. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, God. It's about to topple. Oh! What's a hub? Oh, my God. What's a hub? Who needs them? I mean, really, all they do is hold your wheel on. Pointless device, really. Uh, oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is actually quite bad now. Me that way. Yes! And repaired and refueled, and we are back in business, and we have already hit a tree. Brilliant. I do want to hit the mud in a completely unloaded truck, though, because I have a feeling it's just going to be hilarious. No! We got to take the big jump. Yes! Will it survive it? I don't know. Like, I really don't. I legitimately don't know. It'll at least make a valiant effort. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What a rollover save. What a... Stop. 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 Where are you going? Stop. Thank you. It just couldn't handle the, like, the torque. All right. Let's get it. And try, for God's sakes, to keep it in a freaking straight line. Whoop! <laughs> oh! Oh, boy. She in the ground. Oh, she in the ground. All right. I think that's a good spot to end this video. But if you guys enjoyed, there will be a link to the truck and trailer in the description box below to where you can go check them out on mod.io. If you enjoyed the actual video itself, make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you all next time. Hope you had as much fun watching as I did making it.